Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Week tutorials. Um, I am going to keep going on cash flows in Business Central. So basically, we we were already uh, going through cash flow analysis and stuff like that, uh, and cash flow forecasts. And we last time went through cash flow payment terms. And uh, today I was just going to go into a detail on the cash flow uh, forecast um, that has to do with how you actually get the information into the worksheet. So if I go into cash flow and cash flow forecasts, and then I go into uh, cash flow worksheet and suggest lines, I get here checkboxes. So I can check off what I want to get into my cash flow forecast. How do I want this affected? And receivables obviously comes from customer ledger entries that are open, payables from uh, vendor ledger entries that are open, and the liquid funds, let's see where they come from. If I click OK, I can see here all of my customer ledgers and vendor ledger open. But I get here checking account and the balance there and the petty cash and the balance there. It's funny how actually a lot of money in petty cash. But anyways, um, it's a demo system, so we'll give them a break. Uh, let's say if I really didn't want petty cash to come in here in the cash flow. Uh, it's not something that I really use to, to buy things and stuff like that. So I'm just going to post this. So I get rid of this. Oops, I'm sorry. Register it like that. And then I am going to uh, change the liquid funds so that we can take out the petty cash. How do we do that? Where is it coming from? Well, we actually can navigate into something called um, chart of cash flow accounts right here. It's a funky name, but interesting enough. And this shows all of the categories that we're pulling from. And some of them will just show you the balance like here, because this is just uh, connected to receivables. Uh, so we have payables and receivables right here, just taking the uh, whatever we locked for that. But the liquid funds coming in here actually has a GL account filter. And that should be a clue of how we actually work with this. If I go into there, I can see that we're taking the balance from a GL. There's a GL integration. And these are the GL accounts that we're taking. If I look into those, I can see that we're taking 100 through 300, and 300 is petty cash. I want to take that out. Don't want petty cash in there. So I'm going to change this to be 200, like so. All right, oops. Just going to make sure that it took. So here we have uh, 300. Um, I've experienced slight update things here. Let me just go ahead and go back into it. 300, 200. Um, let's say if that goes through. Yes, now it is. Okay, so <laughs> new system. Okay, so we go into um, cash flow forecast. And now we're going to suggest. So we go here in the worksheet, suggest the worksheet lines, and liquid funds is checked. So let's see if it takes out petty cash. Yep, now it's out. Now I only see the checking out balance. So you can see that everything is coming from that chart of uh, cash flow accounts. Um, so I'm going to push a little bit more onto that topic on next video, um, see what we can connect, what other things we can connect. Uh, Obviously, we don't want everything in the system to hit cash flow. Um, we want to be kind of selective on the things that actually matter for cash flow purposes. So I hope you got something out of this. Until next time, thank you.